Hi, I'm Steve Mencher, News Director of KRCB, and when we all woke up this morning, we knew that we were in an emergency situation and we wanted to get news out to the community as, as quickly as we could. Tiffany Kamhai, our reporter, was up to Santa Rosa very quickly. Tell me about your morning, Tiffany. Well, um, I heard about the fires on Twitter, and so I went up to the Veterans Building, which was an evacuation center. Um, there were a lot of people there, a lot of people there with their animals, and this was at 4 in the morning. Uh, one of the first people I met was uh, Marion Gavin, and she was here from Little Rock, Arkansas, because this is wine country, and she was here on vacation renting a house. The person who owns the house texted me at 3 o'clock in the morning and said that uh, she was um, sorry to bother me, but there were wildfires in the area, and we might want to pack because we might be evacuated. Okay, Tiffany, the Oakmont area especially, I know, has a lot of seniors involved. So you spoke to several people from Oakmont. What did they have to tell you? Um, one of them was Rocky Dobbenmeyer, and he told me very, very early in the morning his next-door neighbor was just rapping on his door. I don't even know if I had my clothes on, and I answered the door. Smoke everywhere. Sharon is in a panic, and she's saying, Rocky, we are surrounded by fire. You have to get out of here. Now, first responders must have had a lot of things to do. There were the first responders who had a specific job to do, and there were others who may not be first responders in our area but wanted to help out. That's right. Um, I talked to Santa Rosa resident Richard Gumbelson. Um, he was actually in an evacuation area, and he evacuated with his wife, but he's also a flight nurse. And so he said once they evacuated, the first thing he did was go to Kaiser Hospital to help them with their evacuations. We evacuated our house. I got her safe, and um, I, I knew the hospital would need help, so I just went over to the hospital. I've got friends over there. There were also people there that had some specific jobs, like the building manager of the Veterans Building. Um, his name is Lee Redfield, and he got there very, very early in the morning. I got here about 2.30 a.m., and there was a parking lot halfway full. Have you dealt with an emergency like this before? Uh, we've dealt with flood and uh, fire evacuations, but not like this. I'm here with Tiffany Kamhai. I'm Steve Mencher, News Director of KRCB, and we'll be bringing you more information as it comes in to us.